Dear students, in this topic, we shall discuss the process of peristalsis in detail. Peristalsis involves the continuous contractions and relaxations of circular and longitudinal muscles of the elementary canal, which produce alternating waves of constriction and distension in the lumen. Peristalsis starts from the buccal cavity and continues along the length of esophagus to the stomach and then along the whole of the intestine till the rectum. Is this a buccal cavity se shuru hone wali uh, muscular wave continue rehti hai till the end of rectum. Isse hum peristalsis kehte hai. Dear students, peristalsis depends on the arrangement of smooth muscles in the elementary canal wall. The elementary smooth musculature consists of an inner circular layer of smooth muscles and an outer longitudinal layer of smooth muscles. When the inner circular layer contracts, outer longitudinal layer relaxes. This coordination produces constriction in the lumen. In this case, when the longitudinal layer relaxes, in this case, when uh, longitudinal layer contract karti hai aur circular layer relax karti hai to iske nateeje mein distension of the luminal wall produce hoti hai dear students peristalsis pushes the food along the alimentary canal from the mouth to the anus. Food ki movement ki jo direction hai, that is dependent on the direction of peristaltic wave. Chunke normally peristalsis ka root ya is wave ki jo direction hai, wo buccal cavity se lekar anus ki taraf hai, lehada food isi taraf move karti hai. Peristalsis ki vajah se Swallowing induced hoti hai, yani ke food ko ingest kiya jata hai, aur isi process ki vajah se it culminates in defecation. Dear students, if the direction of peristalsis reverses, it is called reverse peristalsis. As a result, of reverse peristalsis, the luminal contents, which digestive tract ke andar ja chuke hain, they come back into the buccal cavity. Ruminant mammals mein ye ek common or normal process hai, jis ki wajah se they can regurgitate their food. That is, bring up the undigested or unchewed food for further chewing in the buccal cavity. Lekin, baki ke animals mein, agar ye process hota hai, to it results in vomiting or emesis. Dear students, 